guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be sort of like a big old collection of random stuff, honestly. Haul, oh, so I have some wax, um, a candle, some stuff from Bath and Body Works, you know, just a big old random assortment of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be hauling that, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that I got is a package from my BFF at Bath and Body Works Mama on Instagram. If you don't follow her, definitely follow her. So I bought this um, silver marble, no not marble, what's it called? Just silver like metallic pedestal from her because her store had it 75% off. So I was like, can you hook me up? And she was like, yeah, I got you. So I have this silver pedestal here. It's super cute. I really love the look of it. And it's like... A glass kind of material I guess and you know this fits my aesthetic of my room so I asked her to get me this and I got it and um, as a little extra she also sent me this so this is the sandalwood rose stress relief body wash and foam bath <laughs> so there is that I feel like I'm always like off to the side in my videos is that better <laughs> okay so um, this scent is really nice actually so First off, before I even describe it, this is the strongest um, body care scent, or at least in shower gel that I've used, like, ever. Like, it will linger on you, like, for the entire day if you put it on in the morning. So, mm, it's a really good. So, you get, like, a, kind of, it reminds me of, like, a tea leaf, almost, like a herbal sort of kind of smell. Maybe that it's sandalwood, um, you know, you could really call it almost anything. Um, rose, not really. Kind of like in the black tea rose candle. This is kind of like the black tea rose candle in body care, I feel like. Um, you know, like the rose is kind of really almost not apparent, but if it is there, it's kind of like a like a rose rose leaf or something like dried up maybe. So those that is the two things that I got from her. And then I went to the mall this weekend. Um, I actually went in to get the hooray candle, you know, like the quotable one. It's the scent pink apple punch, but um I thought I would like it, but I didn't end up liking it, so I grabbed a mango coconut cooler, so focus in on that. Um, is it focused? Is it focused? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so mango coconut cooler, the notes are tropical mango coconut milk and mandarin blossoms. Mm, I love this scent, so it smells different than like previous years to me for whatever reason. I don't know why, it just seems more creamy and milky to me this year so you know like last year's or the pop tails collection i'm looking at it right now it was sort of more sharp and almost tangy and like crayon ish like fake but oh god this year's is like so much more authentic and just i don't know creamy coconut water kind of smelling or milky coconut milk so that is the new mango coconut cooler um it's definitely not what i intended to get but Yo boy, I had to get it anyway. So, the next thing that we did was go to the store called Meijer. It's, like, spelled, like, M-E-I-J-E-R, like, Meijer, but, like, it's Meijer. So, um, they had, like, oh, God, they had, like, a ton of wax. So, um, they had, like, some Sensationals wax, actually, and it was $2, like, at, like it is at Walmart. Um, so, this isn't, like, the fall collection for Walmart, but, um, I guess Meijer got, like, a... A little batch of Sensationals wax. They had like a ton of scents. Um, I posted pictures on my um, Instagram if you want to go look at those. At Candle Clone Stories, same as my YouTube. So the first one that I grabbed is this one right here. Let it focus. So this is called Warm Welcome. So smelling this. Okay, that was about a fail. Mm, oh gosh. So you get like a spicy cinnamon, kind of like a red hot kind of cinnamon feel. And you also get like a like a light citrus or like an orange or like a juicy orange or lemon. I don't know. Anything you really want to call it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's very basic, but I like the way that the citrus works with like the spicy cinnamon. So um, that is that. It kind of reminds you of like the, what's it called? Potpourri maybe? Like the stuff you can put on like a stove warmer. To get scent. Have you all heard of potpourri? Um, the next one that I got is Kitchen Spice. So, that is that right there. Um, I got this because it, the Bath and Butter has, has a Kitchen Spice scent. It hasn't been out in a long time. But, um, so I wanted to smell that. Um, actually the wax is broken in it. I don't know how the heck that happened. Can you see that crack in it right there? So, that happened. But, um, 
I'll like take it out of the wax or the shell so I can kind of get like a, a better description of it. Okay, it's not wanting to come out. Never mind. I'll just I'll just smell it in the thing. Hmm. 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 This one's kind of hard to explain. It kind of has like a caramel note to it. Like like a drizzled caramel maybe or something like that. And then you also get like a light spice, kind of like a nutmeg maybe I would call it. And then something something else is super like nutty about it. Kind of like a like almost like an almond. Something is just very like nutty about it. <laughs> like a chestnut maybe or something I would call it. So that is Kitchen Spice. I really like that one. That one's probably my favorite that I, Sorry, that is probably my favorite that I got. And this one I've actually already used. So it is Warm Apple Pie. If I can get the glare off of it. So um, what the thing is with this, um, Sensationals has a Warm Apple Pie at Walmart's currently. But this one smells extremely different from it. So um, like I said, I've used this one, two cubes. Oh gosh, guys, it was super strong. It filled like my entire house almost. So... Hmm, this is like weird. So it's kind of, you obviously get like an apple note, but um, it's not super spicy cinnamon like the Walmart one is. This one's lighter and you know, not as intense cinnamon in your face. And hmm, I'm trying to think how to explain it. You also get like a caramelized note in it. Or like maybe like a dark brown sugar or something like that. And it almost something seems alcoholic about it. Like maybe like an apple ale or maybe like an apple cider which is not alcoholic but still so warm apple pie right there i really like this one it's definitely a different way of interpreting an apple pie it's not bakery like bath and body works does it but um it's not spicy cinnamon like the walmart version of the sensationals warm apple pie is so three um we've done three now and the last one that i got is Vanilla pumpkin cream right there. So, hmm. This scent is, I think, basing, like, on my memory, it's pretty much vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. Don't quote me on that, though, because I am not quite sure. Um, I haven't had vanilla pumpkin marshmallow in forever. So, huh. You obviously, I mean, it's basically, like, what it says. Like, you get, like, a fluffy vanilla marshmallow cream call it whatever you want um and you get like a spiced sort of not really pumpkin just kind of like light fall spices scent from this so yeah i really like this one this one's also a fave out of the four i got so that is a vanilla pumpkin cream and that is all of the four wax melts that i got from meyer if you don't have a meyer where you live um i guess you're out of luck <laughs> but um so yeah, totally check out Meyer if you have one near you. And then last night I went to Walmart because um, fall wax melts have been pop popping up on Instagram. So I wanted to see if I could get my hands on those. And of course my Walmart sucks. So I did not get those, but um, I got something close to it. So I decided to try out the scent bursts. So this is a farm apple pumpkin. Um, scent bursts are just like little, I'll show you, I'll open it. So like, they're like little... I don't know, kind of like rolls of paper, maybe? Um, there's like plastic strings in here. But yeah, it's like literally rolls of paper. <laughs> if you can see that. So, that is what they are. And you just like literally put them in the dish of the wax melter. And it like puts out scent. So, I did this last night and it was so strong. It like filled my entire room, like a lot of the rooms in my like hallway. And then it traveled like up the hallway near like the front door. And stuff like that so these are pretty strong at least in this scent um i've heard that a lot of scents aren't strong i know from a relative she told me that she got the clean linen one or whatever like the line dried linen or whatever but um it didn't throw so you know it's really like a hit or miss with these so farm apple pumpkin throws though so if you want to get that um totally do it uh, the next thing that i got is a new wax melter actually so this is what it looks like. I don't have it with me because it's actually melting or, well, these scent burst things don't really melt. It's, they, they kind of just like sit in the melter and like put off scent, I guess, when you warm it up. But um, yeah, so a good thing about these is it doesn't make like a mess or anything like wax could do if you like hit it or something. So 
I decided to get this mother. You obviously can't see it, but um, it's the Mainstays brand, and here's a picture of it. What I'll do right now is put in a side-by-side -side clip so I can sh talk to you on this side, and um, there will be like a video of the actual melter going with the scent bursts in it. So this is what it looks like. It was $7, and the scent bursts were $3, so only spent $10 at Walmart that night. But, um, yes, so I really like the print on that melter. It kind of looks like a sweater, like a cashmere sweater kind of like. So, um, I decided to grab it. I really, I just, I just had $10 and I really wanted to spend it. So, that's what I bought. Um, I'll probably go crazy when the fall wax melts come out. But, um, yeah, I think I'm done with this video. There's pretty much nothing else that I have to talk about. Um, I haven't been hauling that much stuff recently just because... You know, I haven't had a ton of extra money because um, I'm going to the test store at the end of July. I think July 29th or something like that. So um, I've been trying to kind of save to go to the test store because obviously I want to spend a lot of money on the fall test candles or get as many handles as I can at that time. So yeah, um, that, like I said, that's pretty much everything that I had to talk about. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!